At this time, we invite you to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The mission of Beverage Magnet Middle School is to provide a safe and secure educational environment that fosters student achievement in academic skills and growth in social and emotional maturity. Staff, students, and parents will be committed to enhancing each student's talents to deal with the changing self and a changing world. We would like to welcome our substitute teachers and other guests to Beverage today. Please let us know how we can assist you. beverage. Today is Tuesday, March 30th, and it is an A day. Students, please remember to charge your iPad each night, all night. You should start the school day with a 100% battery level and bring your iPad with you every day. Attention all students who will be staying for soccer and track after school. You must sign up for the late bus if you are a bus rider. Write your name and student ID number on the green paper right outside the cafeteria. If you do not sign up for the late bus, you will not be allowed to ride. And this is something you need to do each day until we tell you you don't need to. So even if you signed up once, you still every day. Attention Slam Poetry Club. This is seriously important. Even though there is no school on Friday. Yay. We are still meeting this Friday at 3.30. We have so much to discuss and try. And hey, if you haven't been, been to a meeting before, why not check us out? Slam Poetry Club is open to all beverage students. Email Ms. Taylor, if you would like to join. Again, Slam Poetry Club meets this Friday at 3.30 online. No school, no problem. We rise up with our voices. Be weird, be brave, be yourself. Have a great day, Bulldogs.
Keanu, you're seriously trying to dance? I bet you couldn't even dance if your life depended on it. Y'all are mean. Look, I just wanted to dance because I've been watching Misty Copeland lately. Um, yeah, so let me do my routine. Wow, that was terrible. Yeah, it kind of was like, um, it looked very painful. Is there even a better ballet dancer in the world than you? Because you really are, um, how do I say this nicely? I, all your words, there actually is a better ballet dancer than me. A lot better. A lot better. Her name is Misty Copeland. You should learn about her. Actually, I'm gonna teach you about her right now. Misty Copeland was one of the best, like one of the best ballet, is one of the best ballet dancers to this day. She's a big, um, she's a big talk of the women's history and even black history. But for Women's History Month, I am going to teach you guys about Misty Copeland, so. Sit tight because I did not just go through all of that painful dancing for nothing. So you're listening to my lesson. So, you guys, please look at me when I'm talking to you. Y'all got a lot of attitude for WWE action figures. Okay, Misty Danielle Copeland, born September 10th, 1980. Misty Danielle Copeland, born September 10th, 1982, is an American ballet dancer for American Ballet Theater, ABT. One of the three leading classical ballet companies in the United States. So that means that Misty Copeland had to be very good to get there. Very good. Better than me. But one of the three leading classical ballet companies is what she was a part of. On June 30th, 2015, Copeland became the first African-American woman to be promoted to the principal dancer in ABT's 75-year history. So not only is she in ABT, but she is she was promoted to be the principal dancer in ABT's 75-year history. That makes her one of the best. So... Do you have any questions about Misty Copeland? Was it hard? Um, was it hard for her to get to the ABT? Unfortunately, yes. Misty Copeland is um, one of the ballet dancers who wasn't easily accepted because people like um, most of the ballet teachers um, on tradition, they like to say that um, if you want to do ballet, you have to look a certain way. Not necessarily skin-wise, but body-wise. You have to, they say, you might love ballet, but it might not love you back. And that's because they say that to the more muscular girls. And um, they basically say, we only want skinny girls. We don't want our girls to have a lot of muscles. So because you are a woman with muscles in your legs and in your arms, we won't coach you. And that's basically what they told Misty 
Copeland um well until she was 13 like we said and like even beyond that so when she got into the ABT she proved all the doubters and proved all the people who said she had to look a certain way wrong and that's basically her story and so to this day she does performances for ABT so you can watch her so yeah that's our lesson on Misty Copeland hopefully you liked it yeah I'm gonna go get my friend you threw across the room and yeah and I am gonna practice my dance moves Thank you.